the future of Kwangyang Harbor will be reborn. The future of Chalanamdo will be reborn. As the hub of international logistics and maritime tourism, as the powerful driver of Chalanamdo's economic growth, a new history of construction representing 21st century Korea will be written. The new landmark of Kwangyang Free Economic Zone. The construction of the Yisun Shin Grand Bridge. The purpose of this construction is to improve the basis for tourism development of the southwestern coast and the transportation route between Yosu and Kwangyang National Industrial Complex. The construction is taking place at Yosu National Industrial Complex, Access Road Construction Zone 3. The construction is of a super long span suspension bridge with three spans and measuring a total of 2.26 kilometers. The span of the Yisun Shin Grand Bridge is 1,545 meters. This is the fourth longest suspension bridge following the Akashi, Jihomin, and Great Belt Bridges. Its span is long enough for container ships of up to 18,000 TEU to cross both ways in order to correspond with the prominence of Kwangyang Harbor which will rise as the hub harbor of international logistics. It was formed as a floating suspension bridge with three spans without expansion joints and supports in order to minimize maintenance. In particular, this bridge was constructed with a symmetrical design to maximize its beauty as the representative bridge of Korea. The new trend, the twin steel box, was adopted as the stiffening girder to ensure economic efficiency and aerodynamic stability. A twin steel box is a cross-section that is optimized to reduce the weight of the bridge deck, maximizing aerodynamic stability by minimizing the effect of wind through the opening. Five centimeters of epoxy asphalt was applied to the pavement for durability, weight reduction, and resistance against chemical materials. With its world-class technology, Daylim has been leading bridge construction in Korea. Daylim constructed the Sohei Bridge, Korea's first steel concrete composite cable stayed bridge and designed and built the Samchun Po Bridge, the first cable stayed bridge which is purely a work of domestic technology. The company also completed the Sorok Bridge, which is Korea's first mono-cable self-anchored suspension bridge, and the Goboksan Bridge, a continuous five-span concrete cable stayed bridge. Furthermore, Dalim is in the midst of constructing the Seipung Bridge, a six-span cable stayed bridge, the Jukgum Bridge, a single-span suspension bridge, the Dandung Bridge, a single-span single pylon suspension bridge, the Seichanyun Bridge, a suspension bridge with three pylons with four spans, and the Yisun Shin Grand Bridge which boasts the world's fourth longest span, 1,545 meters. The pylon of the Yisun Shin Grand Bridge is 270 meters high, which makes it the highest concrete pylon suspension bridge in the world. The bridge, with its harmonious design, and use of the Korean traditional curve symbolizes the dynamism of Kwangyang Harbor's openness to the world. Before the foundation of the pylons is built through construction methods such as 
SCP, and DCL. The weak ground is strengthened by the building of artificial islands with block inner walls and internal reclamation work. After the reinforcement of the weak ground by using sand and cement piles, a riprap mound is built and then inner walls are installed by using concrete blocks. The artificial islands are filled with sand and these islands protect pylons against ship crashes. The effectiveness of this preventative measure has been confirmed by crash simulations. After the artificial islands are completed, 38 3 meter diameter concrete piles are constructed per pylon. Sacrifice steel pipe type is applied for maintaining hollow walls. A steel net inserted into the cast in place pile is assembled mechanically at the site by using spiral band steel. Underwater concrete is placed in the steel pipe with a steel net inside followed by pile cutting work and then the foundation for the pylon is constructed. The foundation of a pylon is 70 meters long, 30 meters wide, 8 meter high concrete and the 80,000 tons of weight on the pylon is transferred equally to the cast in place pile. The pylons are constructed using the slip form method which has been applied with a cutting edge detailed configuration survey system for construction safety and to reduce the construction period. The slip form method uses a hydraulic oil pressure system which raises the mold automatically instead of detaching it and simultaneously places concrete. This method is very effective in shortening the construction period and in increasing the efficiency of the construction. In particular, the pylon of the Yisun Shin Grand Bridge has a slant due to the narrowing shape of the cross section. Therefore, the configuration survey is essential. For this reason, the configuration survey using laser and light wave measurement allowed for error-free, high-quality construction. After the pylon legs are built, two cross beams connecting the pylon legs are installed. For the construction of the cross beams, the heavy lifting method was applied, where cross beams are produced in advance to shorten the construction period at the pylon foundation and lifted with hydraulic jacks. The heavy lifting method uses 20 80 ton hydraulic jacks and 15.2 millimeter wires to lift 1300 ton cross beams. And the installation process is as follows. First, when building the pylon legs by using the slip form method, install a temporary bracing in the middle of the cross beam to prevent pylon deformation and then continue to construct the pylon legs up to the top of the tower. Next, in order to install supporting members for the heavy lifting, remove or add slip for materials that may get in its way. When doing this, if there is sufficient working space, use derrick cranes to install the materials for lifting. At the same time, the upper cross beam is produced beforehand at the foundation of the pylon. After the upper cross beam is lifted and fixed using steel beams for temporary connection, the erection of the upper cross beam is completed by placing concrete for the construction between the pylon and the upper cross beam. However, since the total weight of the lower cross beam is approximately 4,000 tons, only one third of it is built beforehand at the foundation of the pylon. Then it is lifted and connected. Finally, the pylon is completed by placing the rest of the cross beam. The anchorage that supports 40,000 tons of tension on the main cable is a crucial part of a suspension bridge and different methods were applied in Myodo and Kwangyang. For the anchorage on Myodo, the earth anchoring method which supports the cable using the self weight of the bedrock after settling a cable on a stable bedrock was applied. 
Earth anchoring is an economic and environmentally friendly method that minimizes the exposure of the structure. Where a 6 meter diameter, 33 meter deep vertical hole is excavated. Then, a 72 meter long triangular chamber. Strand holes are punched using the Symmetrix casing system in order to ensure the precision of drilling. Then, upper and lower anchor plates are constructed for jacking. Finally, the anchorage is completed by jacking the strand along with the building of the vent and shed, which is the upper structure. The anchorage of the Kwangyang side applies a gravity method that supports the cable by using the self-weight of the concrete. The order of the construction is as follows. First, construct a site by a landfill. Then, reinforce the ground using the SCP method. Next, to enable excavation without further reinforcement, construct a 1.4 meter thick slurry wall. The internal diameter of this wall is 68 meters and the depth is 33 meters. When the slurry wall has been completed, excavate the sand and soil deposits inside and place the founding concrete. Then use RCC to fill the space inside. Then place 16 meters of concrete to build the form of an anchorage. When this is done, complete the anchorage by constructing the vent and shed. The air spinning method was applied for the erection of the cables. Once the pylon construction has been completed, vents and saddles, which are temporary structures for cable installation, are installed on the top of the tower. On the anchorage, saddles are installed first, then the vents. A temporary hauling system is formed by connecting the entire bridge with pilot rope by using a tug to install a catwalk, which is a mid-air working area for cable installation. Utilizing the rope of the temporary hauling system, install 10 catwalk ropes along both cable lines. Next, slide the floor on the catwalk rope at the top of the pylon to complete the catwalk which is an area for working in mid-air. On top of the completed catwalk, install the tramway support ropes, gallows frames, and cable formers. Then, modify the temporary hauling system, which only enables one-way transportation to enable two-way travel. Place an air spinning wire supply facility at the back of the Kwangyang side anchorage. Then the preparation for cable installation is ready. Air spinning starts when the hauling system moves the spinning wheel which is wound by four wires whose ends are fixed near the splay saddle. While the spinning wheel moves from the Kwangyang anchorage to the Myodo anchorage with the wires, the wires are supplied from the anchorage at the Kwangyang side. When the spinning wheel arrives at the Myodo anchorage, the slacking process, which loosens the wires near the anchorage, takes place. Then the wires are detached from the spinning wheels and wound on the strand shoe, and then the wires are retensioned. The wires are not supplied when the spinning wheel returns to the Kwangyang side, and the wire on the roller is lifted and placed on the saddles and cable formers. One strand consisting of 400 wires is completed. It is tied in circular form in order for measurement and shape adjustment to occur. After the completion of air spinning between the main spans, the two strands in the side spans are additionally constructed in similar ways. 
Then the cable compaction process takes place, which transforms the strands into round cable form. Following that, the cable process for stiffening girder installation is completed through the installation of a cable band and hangers. The installation of the stiffening girder applied the vertical lifting method that does not occupy the major seaway in order for the function of the Kwangyang Harbor as an international harbor to be maintained. 90 blocks which constitute the 24,000 ton stiffening girder are transported from the plant to the site by sea. They are lifted using a manufactured lifting device and connected to the hanger ropes. The installation is conducted from the center toward the tower within the center span and from the end to the tower within the side span. During the installation of the stiffening girder, the blocks are connected using temporary connection devices. Once the stiffening girder is installed, the temporary connection devices are removed and the 90 blocks are integrated using welding or bolts, thus completing the installation. After the stiffening girder installation is completed, wrapping is conducted to ensure the durability of the main cable. Cable wrapping is the complete wrapping of the surface of the main cable using a specially manufactured wrapping machine and 3 millimeter thick, 4.5 millimeter wide S-shaped wire. In addition, the cable surface is coated to prevent rust due to sea breezes. For the 5 cm thick epoxy asphalt pavement, which is introduced for the first time in Korea, blasting is conducted to remove foreign matter on the steel plate deck before ASCON pavement. Then, the zinc primer as a waterproof layer is uniformly applied to the pavement surface and cured for two to three days. After applying the bond coat between the epoxy asphalt and the steel bridge surface, 2.5 centimeter thick asphalt is applied twice to complete the pavement. State-of-the-art lighting is installed on the bridge to display a beautiful view at night. This bridge will be incorporated into the tourism belt linked with tourism development programs and will vitalize regional tourism as well as become an international tourist attraction. A future city where life is rich. Green Chalanando as a symbol of oceanic Korea, as the new pride of Chalanando, this will set a milestone in Korea's construction history. The new landmark of Kwangyang's free economic zone, the Yisu Shin Grand Bridge. With its technology and know-how, Day Lim, Korea's leader in bridge construction, will build the safest and most beautiful bridge in the world.